It's Bloomsday, it's the day that celebrates Joyce, celebrates Ulysses, celebrates the wonderful compassion and intense interest in every human life that makes James Joyce the great artist that he is. And we thought this was an appropriate day to show how much at contrast is the present state of Ireland with the values that Joyce incarnated. The company we've come to protest about today is one of those companies whose existence was revealed in the recent Panama Papers. A firm based at this address, Intertrade Project Consultants Limited, facilitates commission payments on behalf of a very large arms company, Finn Mechanica, the largest arms company in Italy. A company with a very uh, dodgy record, its former chief executive was jailed for four and a half years in Italy just this April over bribes that were paid to Indian officials to facilitate the sale of helicopters. Those types of payments are often hidden through shell companies based in offshore locations and one such company is based at this address. It is a rather obscure company, it has no registered employees, it's ultimately registered as being owned in the island of Naye, which is a tax haven in the South Pacific. It has almost no cash or assets of its own. It simply exists to funnel money around the world on behalf of this very large arms company. We're not making a specific allegation of corruption against this particular company, but these kinds of payments are very much associated with bribery in the international arms trade. I think this project is pretty important because it draws light to something that can be quite easily hidden. People my age may not be involved in social circles where this is kind of brought up. I certainly know all of my friends would strongly disagree with what's going on here. I think most of my own friends would be quite outraged about what's going on. Most people wouldn't really think that Ireland has anything to do with the arms trade. And really it's reflecting a trend in Irish political and economic policy, which is seeing us becoming ever more involved in the international arms trade. And that goes from Shannon Airport to companies involved in the arms trade to components being made for the arms trade. So we're being sucked into this sordid industry at a greater level with each passing day. And AFRI for many years have been trying to raise awareness about this. This is not a good direction for us to go. We should change direction. There are enough people creating weapons of destruction in our world. Something that I think would have horrified James Joyce to see the Ireland of today being indifferent to human suffering, being indifferent to the ways that money passes into and out of the country, and indifferent to the need to build a sustainable, just, peaceful, and as Joyce would always have had it, a richly human society.